Welcome back, folks. This is the Tech Deck Let's Play of Europe Universe. No, it's not. It's Solaris. Hello. <laughs> oh, well. The uh, So this is Solaris, not Europa Universalis. If you want to see Europa Universalis, you can see us on our other game where the engine takes turns beating the crap out of one of our countries. Um, one player per game. So anyways, <laughs> I am Perry. And I'm Cab. And if you're ever asking someone for directions, uh, based on how I'm acting right now, I'm not the person. So, without further ado, let's go. So I need eight cruisers and eight destroyers. Are you no, building up? To, are you building hmm? up the fleet cap then? I'm building. <laughs> Where I go, I'm not sure. Cap would be a very nice goal. I'm up to five sixteen. Yeah, you're getting there. I'm better ahead for now. Of course, I can't actually support these ships, but that's another. That would cause problems for you. I keep hoping that my sectors will actually kick in and do stuff. But will they? I will see. I'm tossing minerals at him, so. It's as if I have to get across some threshold or something before they react. Here we go. 5,000. And we want to build that with something like... Yeah. Build. The way oh. I bit. Build that immediately. Okay, so I started again tons of minerals and that suddenly tanked my energy. Why? Mm -hmm. Oh! That's why. Um, sector, sector, yo. Uh, where are you? Take control of that system so I don't have the horrible modifier. In sector gadget. In sector gadget. You know what? We'll do the same thing up here. Take control of that as well. There we go. Now I'm definitely not above core world cap. I could even change to another government form now. Which is all sorts of tempting, truth be told. Because I will not have more than five core worlds now. So, I could go Mega Corporation, plus 10% energy energy credits, energy. that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm gonna switch to... where is it? Where is it? I saw it here. Yes. Ironic Democracy. Okay. 20% happiness. Empire-wide. That should do things. Oh yes, it did! <laughs> Did, you, did your energy crisis get solved? Poof. It went from, what, minus, minus 200 to plus 4. So, That's yeah. That was a nice fix. And that should mean I have a fair few words that are happier. Yep, 100% happiness. That's nice. So they all break away. That should fix my, some of my ethics issues as well. Yeah, this is fun. So 
so for this brief moment in time, I'm happy. Please, folks, note this on your calendar with Keb. This is actually an incredibly rare moment. And I got an insult from an empire. As a <laughs> proof of how rare and fleeting happiness can be. One of my tiniest neighbors decided to insult me. <laughs> That's weird. Me, you four, at least, when you, see, when you get that out of place insult, you know it's just an event. <laughs> Here, they chose to. Uh, let's see. Distance horizon sector. Where be you be? I like to. Is Fun Dominion Republic figure nations? Uh, who are they? Figure nations. Swine ship. Oh, this is the empire that was absolutely devastated in an earlier war. I thought they were completely wiped out. They're they're holding on. Oh yes, and insulting me. <laughs> Not holding on for long. Gotcha. <laughs> does insulting actually does do something in this game? Mm -hmm. What does it do? Other is it just some kind of? I've never thrown one, so I don't know. Okay, sign ship, where are you? You're serving those stars, okay. Uh, I need you to survey the stuff that was in the Fallen Empire. And it's now in within my borders. I really feel cheated from the <laughs> So in this so now I had the Cybrex one in three games I think. In this one, it doesn't have anything. I get the yeah. tech, but no <laughs> way of harvesting the system harvesting the system. Uh, in the other game the system spawned within complete. the empires of another within the borders system of another empire. Complete. Okay. Third time, I think it was it was clear across the galaxy or something. It's just I am really kind of annoyed with that. Colony there really should be some kind of automated defense system that shoots down anyone who hasn't done all six survey six researches. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen the Cybrex system appear was in this game. The one time I finished the chain created an entirely different star system for me. Yeah, and this they did the same thing here. The problem is that when it does that, it immediately becomes available for every every single player. Well, the one time it created it for me it was deep in my own territory, so it was. Yeah, this time it was on the border, but yeah. Uh, that's why I'm wondering. It. If it does that, if it can do that, but they sign, it's fine. But if it does, if it's if it's pre-generated, where it will be, it could be a bit problematic. Can't help you on that. I mean, I could probably go read the events, but that's your job, not mine. <laughs> hmm. oh, did I? Wait a second. Did I just spot? Oh, energy weapon attack speed. Thought I got one of the energy attacks. That would have been kind of useful. Not what you want us to think. But I think you're Fibbin. Fibonacci. No. Kibonaji? Ah. Let's see, we have... Oh, we have, we have new thrusters as well. What else? We have new reactors. Someone died. Who cares? Well, you've got to feed the reactors somehow. Just like Star Control 3. game I have not played. Probably for the best. Oh, it was just a governor, who cares? I can wait. I'm designing ships. I can't. Who cares about we have more important things to do. Yes, I do. It's 
someday I'll learn what these, which weapon types are good. But for now, for now, I won't. That's just the way it goes. Um, There's not a dramatic enough difference yet between them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I don't, I can't figure out what's better than the previous one. In most cases. I, I think the Tachyon Lance, I'm still sticking by it being the best weapon in the game. Yeah, I'm going with you on that, so... But of course, I've never actually used it. Yeah. I haven't gotten that far. But as good as it is, it's, you know, the the two of them, the, uh, it's still not... Well, no, it is really good. That's the equivalent true. missile, I don't think is very good, par partially because it's a missile, partially because it has a travel time. The kinetic version of the attack and lance, which is the one I'm using right now, is pretty darn good, but I think it's slightly inferior just because it's, I think, also a travel time. The lance is nice because it cuts through shields, but if you put, you know, if you have enough warships with shield dampeners, then there's no real, no real, you know, you know, whatever the word is I'm looking for. <laughs> Words. Yeah, and I still don't quite grasp the whole rock, paper, scissors part either. I mean, I I get so far that, okay, I understand point defense versus missiles. That's about it. So, yeah. And she shields for... Uh, let's see. Shields for, uh, for the other two. Mm -hmm. Construction so I suppose they're better against lasers. If I understand right, well, because uh, for, because um, kinetic is supposed to shoot through shields. That's the, that's what that's what uh, was in, suggested at the uh, whatever the word I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> in some of the blord the blord casting, he suggested that. However, the. Um, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not just me. No, he said he. While well, he suggested that, it's the thing is the uh, the lasers are really good against people using ar using armor. Well, anyways, it's. <laughs> I, I think right now the, the consensus is the rail guns and stuff like that. Yeah, they have a high rate of fire, but they're still not all that impressive. It doesn't offset other stuff. I disagree. I kind of disagree. I, I'm fond of them. I've been pleased with the results I've been getting out of them, whether that's just whether that's just the uh, bias of me looking around and seeing seeing what I'm looking for. I don't know. Obviously, at this point, I can't form a complete, cohesive, coherent sentence. So, <laughs> oh, I gave away the system I was building fleets. So, oh, stupid me. That's why I was keeping this. Uh. You gave away your one of your shipyards. Construction complete. I completely forgot. That's why. I, oops. Oops. Yeah, and I probably have. We'll take it back. Uh, I can't because the same system has four words. <laughs> well, three. Uh, one, two, oh. three. That would kind of put me above the limit, so to speak. I have, yeah. I'll have to get the tech that gives me more core words for that. It's a nice tech. But it's fine. It's one so I've had the tech that gives me in increased kinetic damage by 5%. It says it's an empire-wide bonus. No place in the game can I find where that's actually listed. Um, if you go to the ships themselves, or or maybe in the shipyard, I don't know. Ship designer, or at the ships themselves, maybe. <laughs> nope. Looking at the weapon, nothing. Looking at the damage, nothing. I mean, the hull points show up there.
I mean, if you have things that increase your, hit, your ship's hit points, that shows up there. But the weapons, not so much. It's not on the Empire page where the other Empire modifiers go. They're just kind of amusing. subjects, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Sort by distance. When trading these guys. Well, uh, let's see. You can be a frontier clinic. Because you're a frontier. I think I think it's time the Iron Fleet goes out for a spin. The Iron Fleet. Well, we're a science base, so we have the Iron Fleet, the Titanium Fleet. Ah. We'll start naming them for for metals as we go. I'm not going to name them for for uh, a certain pirating nation in Game of Thrones. What that would just be that would just be silly. What is that may never die. That that what is never that which is never interesting won't be featured. <laughs> oh my God, he paid the iron price. You mean he's a thief? Well, yeah, but we call it the iron price. Ground plate is ready for upgrades. Come on, sectors, are you building? No. Well, I guess they're building because the minerals are going away. Throwing them in a giant bonfire. Oh, 
Uh, not impossible, I suppose. And I suppose we can all we could always keep switching out the solar panels for synchronized defenses. Spend <laughs> all the minutes doing the, that. The waste. Yeah, why not? <laughs> no. A AI smurt. No. Just no. I mean, that's that's the the, the first. That's the, yeah. That's the entirety of the answer required. There is just no. Uh, you can go put yourself away. You can go put yourself away. Come over here. Research complete. Let's see. Ocean, arid. Incoming transmission. Free ocean and arid and in, in a continent. I was trying to get rid of arid worlds. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. System survey complete. Trying to get rid of arid worlds. what you take. Hmm, Aaron. Special project complete. Situation log updated. Special project complete. Situation log updated. Having trouble again? Hmm? Where are you? Ships uh, upgraded. No, just, Construction complete. You, you sound like you were very concentrated on something. 
Odd, oddly enough, it does happen for me from time to time. No, I was um, just watching my watching my fleet kill something, and then was trying to make sure I'm getting colony company. ships sent to the correct spot efficiently. So it's a little bit of quick multitasking. Special project complete. I wish it would say when you go to policies and hover over the different choices. If you could say which ideologies would be upset or which which ideologies would prefer these policies, that could help. Complete. That would actually help quite a bit. Because that's kind of a trap, complete. switching a policy because you think it's beneficial and suddenly your entire empire's up in arms. Construction complete. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, we need to modify you guys. Construction complete. You're gonna be conformists, and you're gonna be communal. Situation log gonna be updated. So happy. Construction complete. As we're happy. I'm not gonna try to sing the rest of the song. Just Construction out of complete. Respect for the dead. Construction complete. No migration. Research complete. I don't need people I can't modify. Yet. Well, there's a simple solution to that. If they come in and you can't modify them, just to go get their home world. <laughs> uh, inner regions. Uh, pretty bad. Okay, well that answers that. Let's see, Baldry Street here to move. Special project here. complete. Uh, Spark of Genius. <laughs> I, I said. Uh, I got the little death notice. So I go, who died? And then I had the missing researcher thing follow right behind it. It's like, oh, well, that's nice of it to tell me. Situation log updated. Time, eh? It is that time. Okay then. We'll Young take a short break. 
and we'll be back sillier than ever. Of course. Thank you for watching. <laughs>